Welcome everybody. This is the Trader Genius Stock Option Review for March 20th, 2019. I'm your host, Scott Pack. Joining us is Coach Jay. And our goal is just to show you that there's opportunities every day, Monday to Thursday, because we like to take a long weekend every weekend and enjoy life to make some money. Usually it's between somewhere between seven and we've had days which are right out of the ballpark. I don't even want to mention them, but you know, 20%. You can do that in 10 minutes, a half an hour. That's a pretty big improvement on what your bank saving accounts can give you. So, Coach Jay, were we able to accomplish that today? We were. We have a trending day. That's always an exciting time when you see that on the screen. And we started off a little slow and then a little bit of down movement and then this nice big up movement. Wow. So it's kind of a day that we like when you see consistent movement in in a direction for an extended period of time that really uh really works well for trend trading and there's a lot of fluctuations a lot of up and down then you'll see that's good for like some cycle type trading but for trend trading a nice downtrend and then a nice uptrend throughout the day really lends itself to some potentially good trades cool we're going to go back to the beginning of the day not too far off from what Scott was just talking about. As far as some days, it just it just happens for us. And here is UNH. And you can see it's gone down and it's meeting the risk zone and decided to kind of stall out for a little bit there. And if we go one more minute forward, it is starting to leave the risk zone. And we buy a put, and we'll want to keep an eye on this. And let's see here. We move forward a couple of candles, and we just oh, happen nice. to be in the right place at the right time. There's really no uh, more wizardry to that. My exit would have been somewhere around here just because the level of support that it would be reaching, and sometimes it decides to go right through it. The other thing that we have here is look at the distance it's moved. This is the daily range. It's moved 72% in the first seven minutes of its day. Wow. So not greedy. Be thankful for being in the right place at the right time, and we'll close that with 25%. Yeah. Good way it, to start your day. It's a great way to start your day. And sure, it may go on for a little bit longer. Like, yep, there it goes. But usually, big candle like this, planning on an exit there, and had a moment where it dropped down that far. Just be, I'm super thankful for moments like that, and uh, I'll call it a day at that point. Yeah. Very cool. Not too far after this, we have NVIDIA. And having some of the same behavior there at the risk zone. Yeah, the orange background, which we call the risk zone, is an area where it's highly unlikely that you're going to be able to get any sort of trend. Although, you know, there are times when you can say, oh, yeah, it did. But we just feel like this is a high risk area, and we just strongly recommend you don't trade when the candles are in the risk zone because you've got a really good chance of losing your money. Yeah, the risk zone, there, there can be some opportunities in there, but it's just not uh, on a risk continuum of looking at trading in the market. It's just too high. Um, so we wait for our moments when it's coming out. And you can see here, you can draw a, a straight line through all these candles and hit them. I mean, right now it's just not doing much of anything. Yeah, and, and that's right. usually what it means. And it's figured out by millions and millions and billions of calculations and other indices and everything else. And rather than, you know, have this, all this thing cluttering up your screen, you just put a nice orange background there. Yeah, it really is valuable. It, it really gives peace of mind. It really kind of gives you, kind of frames the perspective of trading and when to get in because it is having to deal with how much it has moved. So 
really we're not interested in in the stock until it's proven a direction to us. We don't want to predict the direction. We want it to prove it to us. Well, like case in point for this example, it's proven to us here that it's broken out of the risk zone and that it's going to choose to, to go down. Who knows for, for how long or for what? And that's why we look at our indicators. And right oh, there, nice. we've got 10%. Oh, I just lost my controller. There we go. A couple of things to look at here, kind of like on the last trade, it moved 72% in the first seven minutes or something to that effect. This has moved 62%, not only on the overall, but also looking at the range of the trend that it's moved. So roughly from here to here, that's a pretty far range compared to the how much it's been moving the rest of the day. And it's nearing this pivot line. So I'll take that 10%, stay conservative, and be really happy if I had that 25, the, the, having the 25% and then the 10% following. So, you know, being at 35% before 945 is a pretty good situation to be in. <laughs> That's right. Excellent. And if you maybe slept in a little bit and we're a little late to the party, we can move forward a little bit. We're going to switch over to three minute candles because we're going to move a little bit later in the day. And take a look at our friend IWM. And here we are. We are looking left. Oh, I went a little bit far on that one. Let's see here. There we go. All right. So we're looking left on this one. And we are breaking out of some support at this point, which is a good situation. And right there, it's holding down below that support. So you've got this tail up here, but it's holding down below that level of support. And that's a good indicator for us. Plus, the market is very strong. And we'll buy a put. And watch this one play out. And right there, I'd go ahead and get out with 17% uh, on this one. It's moved a, a long distance. It's a long trend. The market's been super strong, which kind of has carried this uh, stock to this point. But we look at this D percent and we're at 99%. That 100% is a significant resistance. And let's not mess around with it. If, if it's a known that you've Prove into yourself with your strategy time again and again and again, especially using your trade log and making some of these connections, then you can really understand to just trust that you're good here with your 17% and not want to push it any further. Yeah. Close there. This may continue as it's not showing much of a sign. Oh, and it ends up going right back down significantly more. But I am not concerned about that. <laughs> and uh, I like my 17% or whatever that was. And uh, go, go enjoy and do other meaningful things and not even worry about where it ends up eventually. Yeah. Because we know it's going to go down and it's going to go up and then it's going to go down and then it's going to go up. And that's the way the market is. Yep. And you want to get out with your profit. Yeah, speaking of profits, there we go. Hidden over there on the other side. Not a bad day. Yeah, 10 minutes, 17%. One minute, really? One minute, 10%. And two minutes, 25%. Sometimes I look at these and I think, am I reading that right? <laughs> two you minutes, are. 20, 25%. That's amazing. So these are opportunities that are pretty much every day, this is why we're doing these daily reviews to show you that pretty much every day, Monday to Thursday, we believe in long weekends, you're able to get in, get a really good return on your money, particularly compared to your bank, and with a minimum amount of risk. Of course, that's because we have an excellent tool and we have excellent training 
and you need to have the right mindset. Oftentimes, the biggest problem we find with our members is they sabotage their success. Like they know that they shouldn't, but they do anyway. And there's nothing more. I remember talking to one member once and, and saying, you know, you know, you, because he was, you know, upset. He was losing money. And it's like, well, what are you doing? And he's, he was incredibly honest. He says, well, I'm not following my rules. <laughs> and I said, well, maybe you should start following your rules and see what happens. And uh, the rest is history. He's doing great. So you need to have the right rules for you. You need to have the right tools. You need to have the right mindset. You need to have the right education. And oftentimes you need, always you need to have the right coaching and mentorship because uh, no man is an island. And so if you want to know more, we have a 10-day free trial for you, uh, some time with our coaches to, to get you understanding the software. And if you like it, great. Then we've got training for you and we've got a membership that is tailored for whatever it is that you want to accomplish in your investing career. So with that, thank you, Coach Jay, for uh, sharing this and being with us. Appreciate everybody watching and joining in. Please, you know, like and uh, share the videos if you, if you like them. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.